learning Tagalog language by Tropedia World. This video is a summary of intonation patterns. The major intonation patterns of Tagalog is organized on the basis of pattern types. One-point patterns, two-point lexical determined, final-final pitch point patterns, refinal final pitch point patterns. First, use we have the statements. Two, three down for neutral statements. Ito ang mapa ng Pilipinas. Ito ang mapa ng Pilipinas. This is the map of the Philippines. Two, a down pattern. For non-neutral statements, mauhulog ang bata. Mauhulog ang bata. The baby's going to fall. Three, three down pattern. For follow-up statements, Maglalakad ako, maglalakad ako, then I'll walk. Next statement for patterns, we have the 2A stand straight symbol. This is for follow-up statements expressing the obvious and for mild admonitions. Si Ben, si Ben, Ben, mainit, mainit, it's hot. Next, we have 2A down symbol. This is for statements ending in the tags E and A. Si Ben ang matalino E. Si Ben ang matalino E. On the contrary, Ben the intelligent one. Ayun sila. Ayun sila ah. But there we are. Next, we have 2A proceeding symbol. Plus one preceding symbol pattern. This is for a statement followed by the tag O. Ayun si Juan O. Ayun si Juan O. Look, there's one. Next pattern, we have two three following symbol plus two up symbol. This is for a statement followed by the tag O. Ayun si Juan O. Ayun si Juan O. And next, we have the three down pattern. This is for replies with deleted elements. Nasa ibabaw ng mesa. Nasa ibabaw ng mesa. On the table. Next use of patterns, we have the information questions. First, we have the three down. This is for information questions in general. Sino ka ba? Sino ka ba? Who are you? Next, we have... The 3i up symbol, this is for intonation questions expressing particular cardinality. For example, we have, Ano po ba ang kailangan ninyo? Ano po ba ang kailangan ninyo? What do you need? May I help you? And next pattern, we have the 3 3 down symbol. This is for follow-up information questions. For example, we have, Paano tayo makararating sa palengke? Paano tayo makararating sa palengke? Then how shall we get to the market? Next use for patterns is for yes or no questions. For 3 I up symbol, this is for yes or no questions in general. For example, we have, para sa iyo ba ito? Para sa iyo ba ito? Is this for you? And next we have the 2 up symbol. This is for yes or no questions in general also, and especially those with deleted elements. Gusto ba ninyo? Gusto ba ninyo? Do you like it? 3 down plus 2 up is for yes or no questions with empathic initial phrases. Ang bata, gising ba? Ang bata, gising ba? How about the baby? Is it awake? Next use is for confirmation questions. For example, we have double two up is for confirmation questions with hindi ba in either initial or final position and the yata. For example, we have galing sa Estados Unidos hindi ba? Galing sa Estados Unidos hindi ba? This comes from United States, doesn't it? Di yata magkakilala kayo. Di yata magkakilala kayo. Then you know one another. And next, for confirmation questions, with hindi ba in final position, we have 2, 3 down, less 2 up symbol. This is 
for example, we have galing sa Estados Unidos ito, hindi ba? Galing sa Estados Unidos ito, hindi ba? This comes from United States, doesn't it? Two up, last one preceding symbol we have used for confirmation questions with ano. Maganda ito ano? Maganda ito ano? This is beautiful, isn't it? Next use is for please repeat questions. For example, for two up, ano? Ano? What did you see? Next, we have the alternative questions. We have the two up, two down combination. This, for example, we have, Pukunin mo ba ito o hindi? Pukunin mo ba ito o hindi? Are you going to take this or not? Next one, we have the comments. Three down for non-emphatic comments. Pumarito ka, come here. Two, three down. Lakad na, go. Lakad na, go. Three, three down. Mag-jeep tayo. Or kayo. Mag-jeep kayo. Then take a jeep. Two, three, straight pattern. This is for follow-up comments also expressing the obvious for mild admonitions. For example, we have, Di magpahinga ka. Di magpahinga ka. Why don't take a rest? Mag-ingat ka. Mag-ingat ka. You better be careful. Next is for request. We have the three, two, up for non-empathic request with nga. Magluto ka nga ng kape. Please make some coffee. Magluto ka nga ng kape. Please make some coffee. So the first three, two, up is for non-empathic request. While two, three, following symbol is for empathic request. For example, we have tumalikod ka nga. Tumalikod ka nga. Please turn around. Next, we have the two, three, down. For request without nga. Magluto ka naman ng kape. Magluto ka naman ng kape. Come now, please make some coffee. Next pattern for request, we have the two, three, following symbol plus one following symbol. This is for request followed by the word tag o. Ayusin mo nga ito o. Ayusin mo nga o. Please fix this. Next, we have the orientatives. And for example, for this one, we have the true following. This is for casual invitations to imitate or spontaneous actions. For example, tayo na. Tayo na. Let's go. Next symbol, we have to treat down for invitations to non-immediate or deliberate action. For example, mag-meeting tayo bukas. Mag-meeting tayo bukas. Let's have a meeting tomorrow. Next, we have to treat down still for authoritatives expressing urgency. For example, umalis tayo. Umalis tayo. Let's get out of here. Next, we have to down for authoritative still. With this case, with the force of commands. Tayo na. Tayo na. Let's go. I insist. Next use, we have the exclamations. For example, to treat down. For exclamations in general, for example, Ang laki ng iyong bahay. Ang laki ng iyong bahay. How big your house is. And next, we have the true following symbol, which is to treat following symbol. This is for exclamations. Expressing negative attitudes. Ang init ng araw. Ang init ng araw. How terribly hot it is. Next is for social formulas. Two, three, down. For social formulas, not in question form. Marami pong salamat. Marami pong salamat. Many things. Three, down. For social formulas in question form. Kumusta po kayo? Kumusta po kayo? How are you? Next, we have the non-final phrases. Two up for non-final phrases of various type. Si Rosa, si Pedro, si Ben. Rosa, Pedro, Ben. Two, three following for non-final phrases of various type also. And next, we have the two down for constructive non-final phrases in statements. Si Helen may iwan dito. Si Helen may iwan dito. Helen will remain here. Next, we have two following for the rhetorical linker, eh? Eh, magkano naman ito? Eh, magkano naman ito? And how much is this one?
The intonation of a phrase of direct address in the middle of a sentence varies according to whether or not the phrase occurs at the genuine phrase boundary. A point that would serve as a boundary between intonation phrases where direct address phrase itself not present. If the direct address phrase occurs at such a boundary, two intonational treatments are possible. One, the phrase may be given separate non-final intonation. Kung gusto ninyo inay, pupunta ako. Kung gusto ninyo inay, pupunta ako. If you like, mother, I'll go. If you like, mother, I'll go. Kung gusto ninyo, pupunta ako. So the direct address phrase may be treated as a part of a larger non-final intonation phrase with no post before yet. Kung gusto ninyo, inay, pupunta ako. If a direct address phrase in the middle of a sentence does not occur at a genuine phrase boundary, if, in other words, it occurs in the middle of what would in its absence constitute a single intonation phrase, it is never given a separate intonation pattern, but it is treated instead as an integral part of the phrase, into which it has been inserted with no poses separating it from the rest of this phrase. For example, as we said a while ago, Pupunta ba kayo, inay, sa palengke? Pupunta ba kayo, inay, sa palengke? Are you going mother to the market? Or you can say, Pupunta ba kayo sa palengke? Note that in conventional writing, phrases direct address are set of commas whether or not they are treated as a separate intonation phrases. Sentence final phrases of direct address may in general be given either of two intonational treatments and they may echo the intonation patterns of the phrase that precedes them or they may be integrated into this pattern. For example, Mabuti, Teresa. Mabuti, Teresa. Tayo na, Pedro. Tayo na, Pedro. Let's go, Pedro. Halika rito, Helen. Halika rito, Helen. Halika rito, Helen. Come here, Helen. Lumagda nga kayo rito, Ginang Santos. Lumagda nga kayo rito, Ginang Santos. Lumagda nga kayo rito, Ginang Santos. Please sign here, Mrs. Santos. Ito, binibini na yes. Ito, binibini na yes. Ito, binibini na yes. This one, Ms. Reyes, this intonation is like the first given above, except that the following contour before the phrase of direct address is replaced by a sustained contour. Such a replacement may occur in the case of any two-point falling contour that precedes a direct address phrase. For example, we have magpatulong kayo sa kanya ginong cruise. Magpatulong kayo sa kanya ginong cruise. Then have them help you, Mr. Cruz. As well as, magpatulong kayo sa kanila, ginoong Cruz. Magpatulong kayo sa kanila, ginoong Cruz. Or you can say, magpatulong kayo sa kanila, ginoong Cruz. The 3-3 down follow-up pattern and the slightly more empathic final pitch point follow-up pattern, 3-A down, do not occur as an echo patterns for places of direct address and a direct address phrase echoing, one of these patterns shows a lowering initial pitch point to final pitch point as in above example. After social formulas not in question form, phrases of direct address allow of still another intonational treatment, optionally taking a two-down intonation pattern. Thus, marami pong salamat ginoong magpayo. Marami pong salamat, ginoong magpayo. Marami pong salamat, ginoong magpayo. Thank you very much, Mr. Tagpayo. As well as, marami pong salamat, ginoong magpayo. Marami pong salamat, ginoong magpayo. Marami pong salamat, ginoong magpayo. So, thank you for listening. It's a PDF.